This presentation is about American author Willa Cather, who lived from 1873 to 1947. Willa Cather was born near Winchester, Virginia, the oldest of seven children, and grew up on a sheep farm where her family had been since the 1700s. However, her family was sympathetic toward the Union side during the Civil War and were involved in Reconstruction. Thus, one of the reasons they decided to move was to get away from the hostility directed toward them because of their Union sympathies during the war. When Willa was nine, her family moved to a small town on the American frontier near Red Cloud, Nebraska, joining Cather's grandparents and aunts and uncles, who were already homesteading in this area. Life on the prairie, as well as the immigrant people who settled there, made a big impression on Cather, and she writes about Nebraska prairie life in some of her novels, especially O Pioneers and My Antonia. Willa Cather got a job delivering mail as a teenager. During this time, she wore her hair short and dressed in boys' clothes as well as signed her name, William Cather. She also served as an apprentice to a local Red Cloud doctor and aspired to be doctor herself. Willa Cather was educated in a one-room schoolhouse on the first year she lived on the Nebraska Divide until her family moved to Red Cloud, Nebraska. After graduating Red Cloud High School at age 16, she attended the newly formed University of Nebraska, where she initially began studying science and medicine. But upon seeing one of her essays in print that a professor of hers submitted for publication, she decided to change her career aspirations to become a writer. While still in college, Cather became managing editor of the school newspaper, the author of short stories, and a theater critic and columnist for the Nebraska State Journal, as well as for the Lincoln Courier. Her reviews earned her the reputation as a meat axe critic, who, while she was producing four columns a week, was also a full-time student. Cather's classmates remembered her as one of the most colorful personalities on campus because she was an intelligent, outspoken, talented, and even mannish in her opinions and dress. Her personality suited her well in her chosen profession as a journalist. Immediately upon graduation, Willa Cather was hired as managing editor for the Home Monthly, a women's magazine published in Pittsburgh. While she was turning out this magazine almost single-handedly, she also wrote theater reviews for the Pittsburgh Leader and the Nebraska State Journal. Between 1901 and 1906, Cather took a break from journalism to teach English in the local high schools. During this time, she published April Twilights in 1903, a, which was a book of poetry, and The Troll Garden in 1905, a collection of her short stories. Her short stories caught the eye of S.S. McClure, who was the editor of McClure's magazine, and he offered her a job where she worked for a while and continued to publish her fiction. Her friend and mentor, Sarah Orne Jewett, encouraged the writer to leave the hectic pace of the office to develop her writing craft. By 1911, Cather acted on this advice, leaving her managing position at the magazine. She was just shy of her 38th birthday when she embarked on a full-time writing career in fiction. In early 1912, Cather wrote her first novel, Alexander's Bridge, and the following year she published another novel, O Pioneers. Cather had taken Jewett's advice to heart, writing about the land and the people she knew best, and dedicated this second first novel, what she called it, um, to the memory of her friend, Sarah Orne Jewett. Reviewers were enthusiastic about the novel, recognizing a new voice in American letters. Willa Cather continued to write full-time and eventually wrote a total of a dozen books and 60 short stories as well as poetry. Her novels and stories depict the frontier experience, the plight of the artist during the age of industrialism, and the alienation and initiation of the young. Here are the works cited for this presentation.